The crossbow is rapidly gaining popularity. In fact, just this past year, the province of New Brunswick legalized the crossbow for hunting purposes, which meant another invitation from Clay and Tanya Harrison of Long Lake Adventures for a chance at taking part in the first ever crossbow hunt for black bear. Concerning the, uh, the legalization of crossbows for as a hunting tool, it was generally at the uh, a recognition of stakeholder groups who approached senior management and government and convinced them that uh, the crossbow was a good tool to, to uh, add to our hunting tools. And um, we were able to approach government and get legislation through a change to the act which would allow the legalization of crossbows for hunting. And this occurred in the, uh, the fall of 2011. Congratulations, Mike. Look at this brute. <laughs> this country was built on fishing, hunting, and trapping. Pursuing wild game in the vast lakes, rivers, and forests has been a part of Canada's heritage for over two centuries. Back then, it was about survival. Today, anglers and hunters act as stewards with the focus on conservation, wildlife management, and habitat preservation. Whether you're urban or rural, fish or hunt, you should support sound wildlife management and proudly say that I am an angler and hunter. The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters celebrating 85 years of conservation proudly presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television. Mercury Marine and Lund Boats. Yamaha ATVs. What kind of Yamaha are you? Browning, the best there is. Excalibur Crossbow, compact recurve technology. The new matrix changes everything. And Yukon Gear. Keep on pulling, buddy. Oh, he got off and he was huge. Big one! Recently, we invited other outboard owners to look deeper into Mercury Verado. The mid-range throttle response is amazing. Got a lot of power for low RPM. Whoa! I can't get over the, the, the power that it has, how quickly it accelerates. The torque is unbelievable. Verado is up to 13% quicker than other four-strokes. Visit mercurymarine.com to see more ways Verado beats the competition. Mercury Marine, look deeper. Feel that bad boy? It's not about the shot itself. It's about all that came before it. A company that's given back to conservation so that the tradition of hunting will continue. A leader in innovation since its founding. It's the legendary excellence you've come to expect. You've got that history in your hands. Now it's about settling the crosshairs, focusing on that moment in time, and one legendary trigger pull that changes you. Winchester, the American legend. I guess my first Yamaha was uh, 1986, and uh, after that it was Yamaha, Yamaha to no end. When I look at uh, timber property that I'm going to buy or, or, or be harvesting, you need a good reliable machine to get you through the swamps. Pretty rough going some places. Different people have asked me about, you know, why I buy Yamaha. I keep buying them because of the reliability and the product that they make is just uh, what we want. I'm Barry Elmhurst, owner and operator of BW Forest Products, and this is my Yamaha. Closed captioning for Angler and Hunter Television is provided by Winchester Ammunition, an American legend. I left from Peterborough and headed east on the 401. It's only a day's drive to New Brunswick and the sights and scenery make it a very enjoyable one. Along for the ride to New Brunswick was good friend Greg Booth, who had never harvested a bear and like me, was gonna try and do it with his Excalibur. Hey guys. Hey, ugly. 
I was talking to the dog. <laughs> What's going on, Mike? Good to see you, brother. Welcome back. You too, buddy. This is Greg. Greg. Clay. Clay. Good to meet you, nice bud. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. After arriving and reacquainting with Clay, we got the lowdown regarding how important hunting is to the province of New Brunswick. The spring bear hunt in New Brunswick would account for roughly three quarters of the bears that are harvested in the province. The fall bear hunt, of course, would be roughly a quarter. So it's the primary season for hunting bear, and there's ample opportunities in New Brunswick. We have a tremendous bear population, probably in excess of 16,000 bear. You know, there's one thing you want to do uh, when you're traveling with firearms, and especially something like a crossbow, after a long drive, bumping down rocky roads and stuff like that, any, even if you fly, is unpack your firearm as soon as you get somewhere, take it out to the range, and uh, sight it in, re-sight it in, just as if you just, it was a brand new um, crossbow. Take it out, check your sights, make sure that uh, you, you go over everything and nothing's shaking loose, your scope, uh, any of that kind of stuff. Grab your range finder, check a couple ranges, take a few practice shots so that you know when you're out in the field that uh, you're going to be bang on the money or, or, or dead on accurate, so to speak. You can put all your camo on, Greg, and... Uh, okay. Now, ready. when I'm in my cell, can I fire up my thermocell? Yes. Yeah? You should have it fired up now. The flies are bad. The thermocell <laughs> okay. doesn't seem to bother the bear. Okay. But Perfect. we like the clicking noise to be done before I leave here. Okay. Okay. Day one had Greg set up in a ground blind, and I'm sure, like me, his nerves were on edge, hoping a bear would come into archery range. When a bear comes into the bait, regardless of its size, there's an indescribable feeling that comes over you. And with a bear hanging around for this long, it's a real test of a hunter's self-control and patience. That was awesome. We've been here about three hours. We had a little bear come in a little while ago, circle around the bait, went back out into the woods. Came back. The whole time he kept looking up to the left, his right up to the left. And so we knew there was probably something up there. He left, we sat here about another half hour and sure enough, up from that side, the big lad came. We took our time and I think we've got a big bear down. Al? Yes? I've got blood and lots of it. There's hair too. It's a good sign. Yes, it is. I got blood. Where? I got meat. I've got hair. I've got a bear here. Yes, sir. There it is. Awesome. Well, we've been spent 45 minutes. These guys are awesome. They're down on their hands and knees looking for tiny drops of blood, and we were able to find the bear back here. I'm really excited and happy. That's a noble bear right there. Very nice awesome. bear. Congratulations. Gentlemen. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank, Thank you, you, gentlemen. That's a beautiful New Brunswick black bear right there. My first bear. It's a gorgeous bear.
Gear Up with Canadian Tire. The black bear is perhaps the most elusive creature in the woods. They have an incredible sense of smell that's over 100 times better than a human's, and they can detect scent from over two miles away. To bring a black bear into range, you have to fool his sense of smell into thinking there's an easy meal nearby. Tink's smoking sticks are a great way to fool a bear. These sticks simmer for over two hours and release a delicious bacon and honey aroma that a bear can't resist. And to make sure your bear doesn't pick up your scent, I suggest spraying down with a scent eliminator like Tink's B-Tech Odor Eliminator. It'll make you virtually invisible. To see more great ways to attract bear to your hunting area, check out your local Canadian Tire store or online at canadiantire.ca. Coming up, Long Lake Adventures, awesome. The new Excalibur Matrix changes everything. Matrix is the first compact recurve crossbow. Matrix is faster. Try 380 feet per second and more powerful. Matrix is lighter, better balanced, easier to cock, quieter, has less recoil, is more consistent, more accurate. It can't be dry fired. It can be decocked. Matrix is superior in every way. The new Excalibur Matrix changes everything. They're up there, you know. I've been to the ship. I've seen things. I've smelled things. Look, I'm trying to forge here. They bore you with the smell. They got me, but I escaped. Yeah, from the loony bin. The scent was like a blood trail, but it's deception. Get away from me. Beware, my friend. Trust no one. Trust no one. Think GPS is just for getting you to the lake? Think again. The new iPilot wireless GPS trolling system can hold your boat in place like an electronic anchor. Record and retrace productive fishing paths, automatically keep you on any bearing you choose, and take total command of speed and steering. iPilot controls your boat with wireless GPS precision so you can focus on fishing. And it's only from Minn Kota. There's lots to do around here. Several species of fish that they can fish. There's not only lake trout and landlocked salmon, there are some pretty tremendous speckled trout fishing, some yellow perch fishing, and uh, a lot of fun to be had here at any given time. There's always something to do. We encourage our customers to, uh, if they have their own boats, definitely bring them. It's a large lake, 11 miles long, 2,252 acres of water. Got him. That a boy. I got one too, got buddy. One too. Nice. Oh, oh, mine's a leaper. Yes, sir. <laughs> Our net's a bit big for these guys. A little bit. So slippery. There we go. You the live release yours properly, eh? Easy little fella. Holy, holy, holy. Very nice. Those are all right, little brooks. Huh? Well, it's a great way to spend the time when you get blown off the big lake. Woo! Nice. Son! <laughs> oh, you know, you picture yourself in a canoe in Algonquin Park or something up here catching these, but we're in a 21 foot lund. <laughs> <laughs> wow! And your lake's full, full of big lake trout, full of landlocks, whitefish. Yeah. You've even got perch here. Yes, we do. But it's hard to come up to these, not to come up to a little brook like this. And uh, these are nice brookies. These yeah. are good eaters too. Wow. Beautiful fish. Last year we went down to Mud Lake and caught them. Wow, they are. 
ornery. Ornery trunk. Here we go. Look at that. Two fish and it's just wiped out. <laughs> The picture in your cabin of Tanya and I holding the fish is three and a half pounds, the largest one. We caught it right behind us here. There's another one. <laughs> oh, wow. Brook trout aren't the biggest of the trout species, but I'm telling you, they might just be the, the most fun. We're into a pretty good run of them right here. Right. As soon as you get up into that little shallow spot, you get banged every time. These are gorgeous. I mean, I know guys that portage into Algonquin Park. Holy smokes, have they ever got energy? You think you got him beat by the boat and he just takes off again. I'm, I'm envisioning this guy in a frying pan, but I didn't come here to eat trout. I came here to catch trout. That. Look at that. He's already got the nice white lines on the fins, the orange. These are beautiful fish. They sure are. You know, normally, you know, traditionally, your, your guests would come up here in a canoe or wade yes. to catch these, but you can bring your own boat way up here into the northern reaches of New Brunswick, evidently. And we have the perfect position using our trolling motor and the talon. Just stick the spike down and we've yep. got a fishing platform here right in a wicked little brook trout hole. Yeah, this is pretty luxurious. Gulf Alive presents The Fishing End. Oh, yeah. When fish aren't biting, sometimes you gotta use finesse baits to catch them. This little sink worm on a weedless hook is a great way to get finicky fish, but to really increase the odds of those fish biting, I like to do this. What I'll do is I'll take some of the attractant out of my gulp, rub it on my fingers, and then simply slide it up and down my braided line so it soaks in. Now, not only is my bait charged with the gulp alive, my line's charged with the gulp alive upping my odds and giving me the edge over those finicky fish. Coming up, the bear hunt continues. More than a century ago, Browning introduced the auto-loading shotgun to the world. Today's Browning Silver continues that tradition with greater reliability, softer felt recoil, better handling, and more features than ever before. The Browning Silver, the auto-loading shotgun that does it all. Browning, the best there is. Fish are gonna need a new place to hide. Exclusive side imaging from Humminbird. Scan more water faster with 480 feet of side-to-side -side coverage and see structure detail with amazing picture-like images. Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. A new age of modern scope technology has arrived. Burris Optics presents The Eliminator. The Eliminator incorporates laser range finding technology with automatic bullet drop compensation calibrated to your rifle and bullet combination. Burris Optics, leading the way in modern scope technology. Burris's new Eliminator Rifle Scope, changing rifle scopes forever. Just range them and eliminate them. Now's the time you've been waiting for. Lund 1775 and 1875 Pro V's are back. Pro V's are built tough with double plated hulls, marine grade treated plywood, and reinforced transoms. Plus, Lund's exclusive IPS2 hull provides precise boat control and a soft, dry ride. State-of-the-art live wells, accessories, and tons of storage for rods and gear, making all Pro V's the choice of professionals. Visit your local Lund dealer and reward yourself with the best. You've waited long enough.
Al and I headed out on the rhino to set up and get into the blind early. Al set the bait and snuck away, leaving me there eagerly anticipating the arrival of a bear. After a couple hours pass, you sort of get lulled into a trance, staring down at the bait with tunnel vision. And just when you least expect it, a slight movement in the distance reveals a bear has arrived, and instantly your nerves are on highest alert for him to reappear closer to the bait. This bear was real cautious. He would sneak in and look around, and then disappear for what seemed like an eternity. After that bear disappeared this time, I really thought I'd blown my chance at a great shot. That bear is being super cautious. Twice I've seen him at the far end of this bait, at the end of the, the path. Once he poked his head out, and the next time he came out behind the barrel, winded us, and disappeared behind a big tree. So he's got a, he's got a little pattern he's doing where he's got some wind. It's getting late. But like clockwork, 45 minutes later, he finally came in and hung around long enough for me to make an accurate shot on him. Oh, I hit him good. I had to, I had to take that shot. The guys normally tell me to let him hit the bait, but that was his third pass, and we were losing daylight really quick down in here. And if he had taken another 20 minute pass, I might not have got a shot at him. I put that pin up right on his, his right shoulder when he stood up and hit him hard. He grunted when I hit him. Wow, what a rush. I mean, I hit him good. Wow. Amazing. After making a great shot with the Excalibur, I knew this bear would not be far. I headed to the road and called Al so we could track the blood trail and pick up my bear. Yep, there's a splatter of, bl of blood. He, he, he went out and right, and he was moaning back here. Is that blood right there? Sorry. Yeah, that's blood, yeah. right? Yeah. Got me. Here's, he plowed through here, it looks yeah. like. There he is. Thank you. You're welcome. That's a good bear. Oh yeah, that's a good bear. So there you go, if you get a big bear, the uh, little strap supplied with your tag isn't gonna fit around his wrist, so like any good guide, Al keeps uh, tie wraps handy, which of course will definitely go around his wrist. Al and I rode back to camp excited and hungry. We knew the boys would be celebrating and Tanya was preparing a special feast for Greg and I to celebrate the first successful crossbow hunt in New Brunswick. Tanya and I would love to have any or all of you come out and uh, enjoy Long Lake Adventures experience with us. Uh, be it a family vacation, a bear hunting trip, whitetail trip, fishing trip, 
you know, ATV, anything. Uh, check us out online, www.longlikeadventures.com. Uh, we also have a Facebook page, and uh, we'd love to have you. What an amazing adventure. New Brunswick has again proven to be an awesome destination, and well, a place where someone who enjoys fish and game can get a five-star meal, comfortable accommodations, and enjoy the company of real genuine people. Angler and Hunter Television was brought to you by Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television, Mercury Marine, and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs. What kind of Yamaha are you? Browning, the best there is. Excalibur Crossbow, compact recurve technology. The new matrix changes everything. And Yukon Gear. Visit Angler and Hunter Television online at ahtv.com. You can find more information on today's show and past episodes or other great websites of the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. And remember to conserve and protect the great outdoors.